Main task was to make people understand that they had something in their hands that they could use, and they could only use it if they understood what was happening and how collective action could counteract the violence. These were the words of Ella Baker, a strong woman who was instrumental in organizations of the time against segregation. But before we begin, consider joining the channel and be sure to check out our merch. Your support helps us fund videos like this one and others that so desperately need to be told. Now back to the video. Her story originates in the vibrant lands of North Carolina. Baker was a young woman who would become a pillar of the civil rights movement in the United States. Born on December 13, 1903, Baker grew up immersed in her grandmother's stories about slavery and racial injustice. Her family descended from slaves, becoming a symbol of pride and resistance by purchasing land that had previously been part of a plantation. This environment instilled in Baker a deep sense of self from an early age and what would later give her an even stronger sense for social justice. Ella Baker began her educational journey at Shaw University in Raleigh, North Carolina, where she questioned unjust policies and developed a passion for economic justice. Graduating at the top of her class in 1927, she moved to New York and quickly became involved in social activist organizations. During the 1930s, she joined the Young Negroes Cooperative League and actively participated in the struggle for economic empowerment for African Americans through collective planning. In 1940, Baker began her work with the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People where she played a crucial role as a field secretary and later as a branch director. Her experience at the NAACP inspired her to continue forward, especially after the historic bus boycott in Montgomery, Alabama in 1955. Driven by this event, Becca co-founded the In Friendship organization to raise funds and fight against Jim Crow laws in the Deep South. However, it was in 1957 when Baker left an indelible mark on the history of the civil rights movement by moving to Atlanta to help organize the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, founded by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. As one of the leading behind the scenes organizers, Baker played an essential role in the SCLC, becoming its chief coordinator. Her pragmatic approach and ability to bring people together were crucial to the organization's success. But Baker's legacy reached its peak when, in response to the historic Greensboro sit-ins in 1960, she decided to leave the SCLC and assist the emergent young activists. She organized a meeting at Shaw University, giving birth to the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. Under her leadership, the SNCC became one of the most influential human rights organizations in the United States. Embracing the philosophy of nonviolent direct action, the SNCC organized the Freedom Rise of 1961 and played a pivotal role in Freedom Summer in 1964 in effort to register black voters in Mississippi. For Baker, voting was a key to freedom and justice. She firmly believed that in order to be counted, people's voices had to be heard at the ballot box. This belief guided her tireless work in promoting voter registration and fighting against racial segregation. Her dedication to empowering communities and her faith in collective action deeply resonates in the hearts of those who worked alongside her. Baker's influence extended beyond her former roles. She was known as Fundy, a Swahili word that means a person who teaches a craft to the next generation. This designation encapsulates her role as a mentor guiding young activists and teaching them the essential skills for the movement. Her focus on grassroots leadership, on the power of extraordinary people to bring extraordinary change, became a lasting lesson for future generations. Ella Baker's legacy lives on at the Ella Baker Center for Human Rights. The organization bears her name and continues her fight for social justice. It focuses on concrete solutions to current issues such as mass incarceration, advocating for housing, accountability, and restorative justice. Inspired by Baker's dream of a fairer world, they work tirelessly to transform communities, empowering people of color and the less privileged to be active agents of change. Ella Baker, the woman who worked tirelessly behind the scenes, who educated and empowered future generations, remains a beacon of hope in the struggle for social justice. In your opinion, what is the most underappreciated contribution of Ella Baker to the fight for civil rights and social justice? If you learned anything in this video, consider liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and sharing this video with someone to help spread the word on black inventors and black innovators in American black history so that these heroes will never be forgotten. See you in the next video.